Hey everyone, it's Raid Kitty, and I'm here with my Raid Kitty S'mores. And today we're back in Sandella. Ignore my terrible singing, but we're back in the desert built, the city of Sandella. And why are we over here? Way over here, looking at these mountains? Because there's copper in those them hills. But before we go and move forward with the copper, I want to fill you guys in on what's been happening with this save. As I'm continuing throughout the day, you might notice some things are a little weird. My population's not the same. My money's not the same. The tombstone farm's not as big. The high school is not detailed. Well, uh, I... I lost my entire save. And I had to recreate this from the YouTube videos I had. I tried and failed to recover it. I could not recover it. I had made some computer modifications and wiped the incorrect drive that I did. Well, I wiped the correct drive, but I didn't know that all my Steam stuff was saved on there. So I had to rebuild this. And there are certain things that have changed like this layout. So. You know, if you see things that have changed, that's kind of why. Um, but I tried my best to put things back where they were. Everything shifted a little bit to the left here. Sorry, I know I'm moving this around a lot. So everything is shifted towards Tombstone Farms a little bit, just due to where I had to put this interchange. I didn't get it exactly right. So I may have missed some street names. I have not detailed the high school yet. I did put it all back together, but I just... After putting all this back together, I didn't have the heart to have to detail it again. So when I'm in a detailing mood, I'll do that. Let's see what else. Um, I decided to remove, if you remember, there were these weird like bush tree things over here. Uh, decided to remove those because I just wasn't a fan of them. I, oh, I should probably remove them from the game though, huh? Yeah. I wasn't a fan of these. Decided instead to use these same things. And then as you can see, I didn't really detail these houses back up either. Again, I just really wanted to get this build back. I just really wanted to get it back. So. <clears throat> one last thing. In order to get this build back where I wanted it, I used the Unlock All mod. The one that comes with the game. Which then literally unlocked everything. And there's no way to fix that. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be very careful about not placing things that I haven't unlocked yet. So for instance, while we are gonna go up to the mountains and place a, a small little copper town, uh, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna use the ore industry until we reach a population of 3,000. I'm going to be very, very careful about not using the streets if I can avoid it. Um, just kind of going back and checking at times. I don't remember when we unlock unique buildings. Hmm. Anyway, so I tried my best. If you catch me doing anything that I'm not supposed to be doing, let me know. I want to keep it as true as possible, but I couldn't go back and get rid of the unlock all. I also use unlimited money to get it back to where it's going, which that's where our money and our bank balance is a little weird. So, you know, we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to work on it together. So that's kind of what's been going on over here in Sandella and it's been pretty unfortunate. But enough of the sad things, let's get back to the happy things. There has been a huge deposit of copper found and Prospector Pete was out mining and like excavating out in these mountains, looking for gold and silver. And all he found was copper. And he was getting really, really frustrated because copper is not, in his opinion, as valuable as gold or silver. So he was talking with his Prospector buddies and he said, oh, no, no, you can make copper wires and you can become the primary exporter of copper to all of the cities in the area. So we're going to change what Chirper looks like. Oh, cancel. Because I want a cute different Chirper. 
Yes, we're gonna put on Mining Sharper. And we are going to start making a small mining town. So Prospector Pete decided that it's going to be of great importance that people don't have to commute from all the way over here. Oh no, something's on fire. Whoops. Don't have to commute from all the way over here to their job all the way over there. So I'm basing, I'm gonna base this new town. I know, move, let's move backwards. I know in a previous video, I said I wanted to stick in this basin and I do, um, but I think it is important to head to where the resources are. So I'm basing this new town off of a city called Jerome in Arizona. Jerome is now, I believe, a ghost town. Uh, it was one of the top copper producers in the state of Arizona. So we are actually going to build this new town into the hillside where then the excavation is going to take place. Because if we look here, the majority of our copper ore deposits are all along the inside of here. And we're gonna wanna excavate into the mountains. So this is going to be a very, very interesting thing. What's this? Oh, it's a rock, okay. It's gonna be very, very interesting. So let's go ahead and... Do I want to replace this interchange? I don't think those are technically open yet. Let's take a look. No, they're not opened yet. So what I'm going to do is build my own interchange. So let's get started. Oh, we're gonna run out of money.
Okay. Well, I <laughs> I've never really built an interchange before. Um, I think it's okay. I mean, it functions, right? <laughs> it's a messy interchange, but that's okay. So cool. So now that I've spent an hour building this interchange, let's keep going and getting this copper. So let's use a two lane road. So let's create the bridge over. So I'm gonna turn on my terrain heights. Two, three, four. That's beautiful. All right, so just a little tiny bridge. It's a little off, so let's drag this guy up there. Okay, so I was thinking, because I have a creator's pack, let's see what bridges we have. Two lane stone bridge. Three lane viaduct, four lane truss, four lane stone. I think that'll be nice because technically this is gonna be a main road. And so I'm gonna want this road to meet the ground before there we go ah yes and you can tell that it is very off from being straight but that's okay because we have the move it mod all right so we have this bridge so let's bring it back down to ground level I'm going to slope that. I'm going to slope that. Ooh. Ah! Oh no! Oh no. Well, maybe it didn't have to be as high as it was. Maybe it just needs to be a little baby bridge. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a potential I made that actually a lot higher than it needed to be. Oh my god, I did it again! <laughs> Alright, this is the last time. Perfect. Little baby bridge. Little baby bridge. Perfect. Alright, so then I'm gonna take these roads, and we're gonna take some one-way roads. The issue is I don't want parking. And I don't want people being able to turn around. So, and S. Perfect. Beautiful. Alright, so now we have successfully made a connection here. So we haven't technically connected the, that side over there to this side here yet. We will, I promise. All right, so let's continue climbing. So I think I want the houses over here. I want them along this area. So let's go ahead and mark that out. Pete Heights, because he is going to be the copper. And I'm actually going to run this and end it up here where the entrance to the mine is going to be. So let's, let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take where I want to end it and we're going to Shoop. 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 And look at that. It's not uh, potentially horrible. We'll see. So let's take our two lane road. And let's. Let's begin. Oh, actually, that's not that bad. 
we'll just bring it up a little bit, but I don't think an 8% grade is terrible. Um, might not be great for heavy trucks, but we'll make, make sure the speed limit's really, really low. All right, then I'm just gonna smooth this area out. Very nice. Oh no. Okay, I smoothed the river out, don't want that. All right, and so if this is where the mine is going to be, I want to make sure that we have some roads running over here. And so one of the cool things about Jerome, or I guess cool in quotes, is that they did not pay much mind to actually leveling the terrain. So let's turn on our terrain tools and let's find, let's find some contour lines to follow. So I like, so I'm gonna start off by doing just a little baby straight one. And we're gonna follow that contour line until about there. And then we're gonna follow that contour line until about there. And you know what? I've changed my mind. We're just gonna go in and use the rural roads right away. Right, so then I think let's do one more on this level and we'll do a little connection and get it going. And then we'll call it a day. Okay, so now these are just some really interesting kind of ugly roads. So I would like to actually stick in some roads connecting these. So I am going to grade that. So that. Bring that around. Turn on my terrain level and then straight in. So it's kind of connected at least. And I'm going to actually do the same here. So let's grab our terrain tool, grab our height, and bring it around. Mark these roads that chose the wrong ones. Cool. Turn on our terrain guidelines and connect it there. Beautiful. So we have a little bit of connectivity on that side, and let's do the same here. All right. So we have peat heights. So let's set some policies. Let's take a look and see what policies we technically have unlocked. So we still have not reached Boomtown. So I think we have schools out. We do. Okay. So let's take schools out. Awesome. And yeah. Um, city planning. What about Old Town? A lot of these I don't actually get yet. Okay. 
school's out it is. I also realized, yep, okay. So let's run some water. And again, I don't think I have a large water tower. Oops, pardon me. It's not all the way up here, is it? Oh my goodness, it is. All right, small water tower it is. So in reality, an area like this would probably have their own water tower. But due to the way that city skylines functions with water and its connectivity and its, you know, this screen, I'm just going to connect a second one all the way over there. And I'll eventually do the same with the electricity. So I have decided I'm going to place a couple services over here. So we're going to place a little small police station. And we're going to place it pretty close to this main road. Um, and let me take a look and see if I have any areas that are a little more flat. No, I don't. Also, these don't need to be traffic lights. So we're going to turn the traffic lights off. Okay, so the police station... All right, well, let's do a little fire station because we know they're going to need fire stations and they're going to need a lot more than just one. But for now, one is going to be good enough. Oh my gosh, this police station is huge. Why are these all so big? This fire station so tiny. Okay, well, we're going to kind of stick it on this side. Okay. And then we're gonna do a little baby medical, little medical clinic, holy cow. They look the same to me. We're gonna stick a medical clinic out here. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what this place looks like, right? It's literally built into the side of a mountain. So let's run some water. So now, you know what we didn't do is put some of those back in. That's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run power across the freeway. So let's go ahead and I bet you those, oh, they do, okay. I didn't realize that these would raise. It's actually really nice. We're gonna run it all the way along this side. I really like these rural power lines. We're gonna run some power there and then I can run it the rest of the way later. And we're just gonna tie that into that power. Which kind of looks a little funky. So we're gonna end it right there. A little straight across perfect perfect all right so i'm gonna pause this again i don't have high density at all so we're ignoring that and let's get zoning all right so we have zoned in peat heights and i think and actually yeah so peat heights uh so we've zoned in peat heights and I think we should let this run. realized I didn't give them any electricity so let's fix that there we go that should help some people move in and then I'm gonna jump it across and we're just gonna kind of 
hope. You know what? I'm just gonna kind of hope that it jumps. We're just gonna have to wait a minute. There they go. All right. Ooh, man, is that ugly. I'm also not a fan of some of these buildings that are coming in for the commercial. Like, I think that that one's fine. I don't like that one. I like a little convenience store. I think a little... I just don't like all the signs, you know? Like, that's just ridiculous. No. Delete. Ooh, like this one. Save. Sure. Two central liquors. This one, though, has got to go. Gotta go. That one, too. Don't like. Already like what's coming in there. Nice and small. Nice and small. Look at that. Was that so hard? Let's see where all the other ones. See? Like, mmm. Go away. Look at the little bank. Perfect. Let's see where else our commercial is. These small ones are going to be great because they're already going to be kind of the ones I want. Like, look at these little guys. Done. 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 So cute. Look at this little cafe. <gasps> oh my gosh, that would you totally see that in a little town like this. I love it. Uh, I'm okay with this. It's not great. Not my favorite, but I'll deal with it. Let's see what else I got. Another, I'm assuming liquor store. Yep, another liquor store. All right, let's check over here. Perfect, another little bank and a Fry Guys. And another liquor store and another restaurant. Oh my gosh, okay, that's perfect. What I am gonna do is I am gonna put, currently don't have anything there. And I'm, if, I'm thinking that that's going to be busy, so I'm actually going to want to make those stop signs. All right. So I'm going to continue to let this grow for a little bit. But unfortunately, some of our demands are not being met. But look at all these people moving in. Look at them. Ooh, ooh, what is happening over here? Because no one collected dead people... Hold on. Do I not have a <gasps> I don't have a cemetery! Oh no! When did I unlock a cemetery and why didn't I put one down? Oh no! Oh no. Okay, but seriously, when did I unlock a cemetery? I I technically haven't unlocked it. Oh no. The Spencer Manor has been abandoned. I'm assuming because no one collects dead people. Yeah, okay. Um If you guys don't mind, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to put Oh, crap. Okay, we're gonna hit pause. So, no one's collecting dead people, but I technically haven't unlocked death care yet, but due to the unlock all... Oh, jeez. Okay, um... So, as much as I don't really want the cemetery on the other side of the school, it's a nice flat piece of land, and I think having it kind of away from other things and in its own oops kind of 
respect area and mourning area is not a bad idea. So we're gonna set it back here. And we're just gonna set one up out here, apparently by the train tracks. And that should maybe fix our death problem. Maybe these fix our death problem. Oh, they don't have water or power. Okay, cool. Um. Well. Seriously, you can't jump just like that. Just like that. Like that. Close enough? I don't think you're close enough. How about now? Now are you close enough? Cool. Okay. That should fix our death care issue. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's reset this building because it's a, um, it's a historical building, and so it's not gonna... Oops. It's not gonna fix itself. All right. Well, unfortunately, that's part of, I guess, doing that. All right, so this is kind of coming together here. Again, I'm not going to smooth out a lot of these areas because this is honestly what would happen, right? They would build it into the side of the mountain as they were, you know, excavating. Oh, parking. Cool. I forgot I turned on realistic parking. All right, well, we'll have to fix that too. So I think the last thing I want to do before I get off, um, there's not a whole lot of detailing that I'm really going to do in here today because I want this to all fill in. But once that fills in, we'll go in in detail. But the last thing I really want to do here is make the connection to the other side of town so that people don't have to get on the freeway to then get off the freeway, you know? So I think... What am I thinking here? Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like this. This is a lot here. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna take a 4 you road. And before it gets on the bridge, we're going to pull it straight out. How much should I pull it out? 1670. Oh, that's odd. Cool. Uh, and there's no need for that to be a traffic light. Cool. There's no need for that to be a traffic light. I don't even know that there's a reason for that to be a, a four lane road. So let's actually downgrade it to a two lane. But of course, there. Okay. So now what I'm thinking is I'm going to create a bridge here over the top. And I suppose technically I could create a tunnel. Almost like an underpass. So what I'm actually thinking is this. I'm going to turn this. And oops, oops, pause. I'm gonna turn that into a raised piece. I'm gonna turn that one and that one into a raised piece. Let's bring this node back and bring that node back. Cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a road on the ground. I'm gonna just anarchy this in for a moment. And we're gonna bring that down so it's like a, an underpass. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But I need to be able to 
Ooh, add some. It's quite the underpass there. But, let's... That's a... <laughs> a 26% slope. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to raise these guys up just a little bit. Which means I can raise these guys up just a little bit. Perfect. All right. Yeah, yikes. But it's an underpass, and it's not a tunnel, so you can see it. And I think that's kind of nice. And that one doesn't need to be... Um... I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like trucks could get under there. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to Bring this curved around. So odd. I want to bring that up to terrain height. Okay. And let's connect this bad boy up. Okay. So we've made a connection across. And I don't know that I actually need this one for now because there's just a farm over here. So this is kind of nice because this will allow for people to make this trip without having to go over the freeway and around. And I'm sure we're going to see this get really busy really soon. Cool. Well, I think we've done all the big things we need to do today. So let's take a look at Pete Heights and say goodbye. I'm going to do some detailing, but I'm going to leave you here. If you liked my video, please feel free to hit that like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more of my content, please feel peace, please feel free. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you want notifications about my video, hit that notification icon. Finally, if you have feedback, comments, concerns, questions, just want to say hi, leave me a comment. But for today, S'mores and I, we're going to go take a nap. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.